Hi, I'm Katie from the education team at Geoscience Australia. Today, I'm going to show you how to undertake a mineral density test, which you can use to help identify an unknown mineral specimen. Density is calculated by dividing the mass of an object by its volume. For this activity, you will need a graduated cylinder, various unknown mineral specimens that fit in your graduated cylinder, accurate scales, a calculator, and a pencil and paper. Now it's very important that your graduated cylinder has the smallest increments possible because if you're even out by a milliliter or two in your measurements, this can lead to you identifying the mineral incorrectly. Firstly, place your unknown mineral sample on the scales to find out its mass. In this case, 53.5 grams. To determine the volume of this specimen, Firstly, we're going to pour 100 mils of water into our graduated cylinder. And you can see I've already done that. We're then going to put our sample into the graduated cylinder. Now, if you just dropped it in, water would splash out and your, your results would be inaccurate. So we're going to put the cylinder on its side. Pop. Then we need to read the new water level. You need to get down at eye level to ensure that you're getting an accurate reading. In this case, the new water level is 113 millilitres. We can calculate the sample's volume by reading the new height and subtracting the original amount of water in the cylinder. So in this case, 13 millilitres. When we measured, our mineral was 53.5 grams. Then we did the volume measurements and we worked out that it was 13 mils. To work out the density of our specimen, we divide 53.5 by 13. Which gives us 4.1. If we then use our mineral density chart, we can work out that this unknown specimen might be sphalerite. This is just one test you can do to help determine an unknown mineral specimen. Watch our other videos to find out about other tests.